stages of relationship i use the word stages of relationship relationship is something which is a stagnant is matter like matter can exist in three forms solid liquid and gaseous these are the three forms in which matter can exist we have reduced relationship to matter instead of focusing on relating emphasis is on relationship and that's what creates the problem this is the last sutra nanak says master is like wind the gaseous form you can feel it but you cannot see father is like water fluid like constantly flowing and mother is earth the humus master is like wind he comes like the fresh breeze he is not visible can only be felt he is very delicate if you want to see a master you will miss certainly you can feel his presence you can feel the touch when your fist is open like the fresh breeze he is there the moment you try to close try to give it a form the breeze is no more the master is no more master cannot be closed in fist or put it any form a master cannot be manipulated one who can be manipulated cannot transform you 99 out of 100 can be locked in your fist in their case it is the disciple who decides what is wrong and what is right for the master the society decides who is to be worshiped as a master in christianity the saints are ordained saint or master is in a flower when the flower blossoms its beauty and fragrance cannot be contained it is spreads it is the society that decides the behavior gesture and conduct of the master in your temples and monasteries you will not find masters you will find fake coins serving as masters you cannot manipulate buddha mahabir nanak jesus kabir and persons like that they move by their own free will just like the wind blows one through who you are seeking salvation how can you keep him in your fist without earth your body cannot come into existence mother is essential for birth and life earth is the gross grossest because even the birds and animals have mother but they do not have father father is a civilization a sanskar a sacrament is needed to recognize the father a father is the mind mother is the body where there is a body a mother is there naturally but not the father as a result all those who are of the same age are considered as uncles as soon as mind develops father comes in picture developing the mind means consciousness comes in a father is a great happening only human beings have father this too is not older than 5000 years before that there was no father woman was a social property it was difficult to recognize the father then the situation was exactly like that of an, of the animals you will be surprised to know the word uncle is older than father no one knew the father the word father came much later father is your mind mind developed much later in the savage state mind was not developed it is your sacrament this is the reason father is a social achievement mother is like earth in the nature there is no recognition of father only in advanced societies father is recognized father is water like fluid the relationship with the mother is very gross to express fluidity the word water is used and pavan means wind 
degrees his master. These are three stages. Mother or earth is the gross material life. We call woman as prakriti, the field of operation. There is a higher stage. From there a new relationship begins. This is deeper. From here the relationship begins with the father. This is the beginning of culture, civilization and society. Still there is another state higher than this. From there begins the realm of the mass. A new relationship begins with religion, meditation and transformation. If you have stopped at mother, you will be animal life. And if you have stopped at father, you will remain man life. Until you reach the master, there is no transformation. These are three steps. Most of humanity reaches the mother state. Only human beings reach the second stage of father. Only a rare one can reach the master. And until you reach the master, you will not attain. The master is connected to your soul. There is no higher relationship than that of the master. Those who are without master are incomplete. Master completes you. In fact, these are the three doors. Master is the last door of this world and beginning of the other. Master is the door. This is why Nanak called his place as Gurudwara. Door implies the end of one world and the beginning of another. Master is between these two worlds. With time, the entire world is a play. The players are two. First are those who have rendered the servant as master and the other is one who has considered servant as servant alone. Time is not the master. Time is the servant. Use time. But never let time use you. The situation is just opposite. Time is not only using you, instead it is swallowing you. Time is using you. The wheel of time goes on mopping as it rolls. No power can its fury end. If you are the master, then you have enough time. On the contrary, if you are a servant, there is no time. A servant has no time. Nanak says, with day and night as two aspects of time, he is playing the game. The game is twofold. Those who are master, they will utilize time and within time they will seek the way to know that which is beyond time and space. This is meditation. The other is consumed by time. You have time for non-essential but no time for all that is essential. Be the master of time. Only then you can go beyond. The auspicious and inauspicious are arranged through religion and bound by actions. Because of action, some are close, the others is far. God is both far and near. If your actions put you to sleep, your back is facing God. And if your actions wake you from your deep slumber, you are awake. You are now facing the sun or God. God is both near and far. In his opinion, no one is high or low, rich or poor, worthy or unworthy. Bring change in you so that you are worthy. Nanak says, one who remembers his name, meditates over his glory, and for this makes sincere effort, carries a different aura around him. In such a company, even the trees and the dead become alive. Deep within a lamp is lit. Look lovingly. You will find an unfathomable reservoir of bliss, out of which overflows compassion. This compassion prepares others for inward journey as well. This is the reason we have created a symbolic aura around saints and the masters. This is visible only those. This is visible only to those whose heart is kindled with feeling. 
and trust. Keep your trust alive. Only then you can recognize the Master. One who has recognized the Master will certainly attain one day that which is imperishable. He has found the door. The door is the beginning of something new. Passing through the door, you get your own identity. The light that always belonged to you is now your awareness. You have discovered inner treasure. Master make you, makes your acquaintance with that you have never lost. Simply you have forgotten. Both Master and Kabir says both Master and God are standing in front. A Kabir is in quandary. Who really to bow first? The quandary is if I pay regard to God first, it will be disrespect for the Master. And if I touch the feet of the Master first, that will be the disrespect for God. Yet still Kabir bows down to the Master first. It is the Master that has shown the way to God. When Kabir was in Quentry, the Master indicated, I was only up to here. Beyond this recognition, the Master ceases to exist. Now only God is, and you bow to God alone. But no, Kabir meditates and says, Kabir bows to the Master. If you have trust, you will recognize. Only trust is needed. Trust is a feeling deep within not thought. Never try that route. Master is always there, like a shadow. You can never be devout, the world can never be devout of the masters. It will be a greatest misfortune when masters are not there. But this can never happen. Only you have failed to recognize this. Seek the disciple within. The moment you have found the disciple, the unquenchable quest deep within, you have found the master. The master appears. Sufi says the master appears the moment you are ready. Be a disciple within. Seek the disciple in you. Your half search is over. The moment you are empty. The disciple means being empty, full of trust. The moment you are empty within your team. When you disappear, still there is a long way. Now you are in the uncharted region. There is no path. As you walk, the path appears. This journey needs the master. What does he do? What does the master do? In the barren soils of thy inner sanctum. In the barren soils of thy inner sanctum, oft does he use the manure of compassion. Then one day seed of awakening he sows. With the rain of thy infinite bliss, this seed shall sprout one day, and then reckoning shall reap the fruits at the dawn of new awakening. In the barren soils of thy inner sanctum, oft does, the, oft does he use the manure of compassion, and one day seed of awakening he sows. With the rain of thy infinite bliss, the seed shall sprout one day, and then Reckoning shall reap the fruits at the dawn of new awakening. Matter has three stages, the solid, the liquid and gaseous. Nanak takes this analogy to explain the three stages. When a child is born, it is identified with the mother. This is instinct. To be identified with the earth element is instinct. You are connected to the mother by instincts. Naturally, you gravitate towards that. But to recognize the father, you need a certain kind of awareness. In the savage stage, when the mind was not developed, the offsprings were not able to recognize the father. It is only the man that can recognize the father. Father is liquid-like, fluid, constantly flowing. The ice has to melt first. Ice occupies more space. Water has the quality to flow. 
consciousness is the quality has the quality to flow and father is that consciousness this is the second stage in between and the third is gaseous state the moment water is placed on fire it begins to evaporate and slowly and slowly disappears in an unknown oblivion master is like breeze you can feel its presence you can feel the warmth the coolness but you cannot hold on to it it surrounds you but you cannot see it. these are the three stages and this is the end of the message of japji nana takes you through various stages using the various songs as sutras and takes you to the ultimate state when he says pavan guru pa pani pita mata dharat mah and the day and night constantly play a game you would have heard the story of the black mouse and the white mouse they are sitting on the branch of a tree and cutting it so day and night are like that time two aspects of time that continuously flow one who has recognized the importance of time one who is the master of time then he can attain he have all the time in the wide world with this the message of japji the heartbeat of nanak comes to 